So there's a practice that I've used for 10 years uh, that I originally learned from one of my professors, from my advisor, Dr. Peter Coleman, who runs the International Center for Cooperation and Conflict Resolution at Columbia University in New York. And um, it's a great practice that people can do even in two minutes. I've seen people mm -hmm. have major light bulbs go off and major aha moments from doing this practice. So basically what you do is you start with a blank piece of paper. And you can also do this online. Um, in fact, if people want to go to optimaloutcomesbook.com slash map, you can find a way to do this online. There's some very cool uh, online mapping software that, that we found that's available for free on the website. Uh, but you take out a blank piece of paper. And the first step is just put down the names of the people who are involved in whatever situation is occurring for you. So that might be, you know, if you and I, Deepak, were involved in some kind of situation that was hard for us to deal with, I would put your name and my name down on the map. And then I would put circles around each of our names, and I would have a line between us to show that we're in relationship with each other. Then I would ask myself to get creative and think about who else is involved in this situation. Well, maybe there's you know, the person that you report to and the person that I report to. And then there's all the people who report to either e each of us. And then there's my family of origin and there's your family of origin. And they might influence the way that each of us tends to approach problems and our thinking and our ways of dealing with conflict. And I'd put them on the map. So I start to really get creative and think about what is influencing this situation what or who, what other factors, what other ideas, what's influencing and also influenced by this situation and put that on the map as well. So the, the next step is to get really even more creative and put on your map anything that would be helping you think about this situation in a different way than you have before. So I've seen people put colors on their map and names of emotions on their map and stars and hearts and X's to show relationships that aren't doing well or that are very loving. Um, mm -hmm. Anything that can help you view the situation in a different way, put on your map. And then the final step in this practice is to take a step back and observe your map and ask yourself, what story does this map tell that might be different from the story I was telling myself about the situation before I drew my map. And typically, again, there's, you know, insights. Often people, for example, a very common insight is, oh, wow, I didn't realize that the way this person has been treating me that I, I've had such trouble with, I can't stand that I feel so micromanaged, for example, right? That's like a very common complaint in workplaces. Um, my manager is just micromanaging me and I can't stand it. I've had someone like literally <clears throat> within two minutes of doing this practice say, oh, I just noticed that my manager may be feeling micromanaged by her manager. And that doesn't take away the pain that I have experienced over the last many months of feeling micromanaged, but it does help explain why she may be doing this. And it can give me a little bit of empathy for her in a way that I just was not able to access before. 